Hi everyone, welcome back to part 2 of our weekend QA series. In this video, we are going to dive into a very interesting question recently asked by one of our viewers. So if you observe here, why comparable is not functional interface even it has one abstract method. Thank you Subarna, thanks a lot for sharing this question. I am sure many others also have the same doubt. But don't worry, as always, we will break it down from the very basic and make it super easy to understand. Okay, so let's get started. So well, before we understand why this comparable is not a functional interface, first let's understand what is the definition of functional interface or when we can consider a interface as a functional interface. So the first rule, interface should have only one abstract method and it can have any number of default or static method. Any method from object class like equals method, has code, to string, do not count or it does not count towards functional interface constraints. Okay, so these are the condition needs to satisfy to define any interface as a functional interface. So if this statement is clear for you, now let's check the source code of comparable interface. Just open the source code of comparable interface. Now if you observe here, comparable and it has only one abstract method that is compare to. Then why it is not defined as a functional interface? That is what something confusing us, right? So this is what something we want to understand. But before that, first let me show you the comparator interface. Now if you observe this comparator interface, it is defined as a functional interface. It has only one method called compare with two argument remember this is the key point to understand okay and it also has the equals method which is override from object class so you cannot consider this as a abstract method this override method from the object class will always be excluded okay and then it has couple of default method now the question here comparator is defined as a functional interface when it has only one abstract method then why not comparable. Now to keep it simple, both comparable and comparator used for sorting mechanism in collection framework. You can go for comparable when you want to go for natural sorting. You can go for comparator when you want to apply the customization sorting. You want to sort by ID, age, name. If you want to sort with a different parameter, then you can go for the comparator. Now to understand why comparable is not defined as a functional interface, we must need to understand how comparator works in collection framework. Then you will get the clear picture why Java developer forcefully didn't define this as a functional interface. Okay, so let's keep it simple. I don't want to go more into the theory. Rather, I want to prove the reason why it is not defined as a functional interface. So go to the student class. I have created this student class with field id name age. Now if you see, I have getter setter method, equals method, has code and two string. Okay. Now also I have created a test class where I created list of student object. Now I want to sort the student by age. Which one I can choose comparable or comparator. I can choose both. Now let's see what is, what is the problem if I will go for comparator or what is the problem if I will go with the comparable. Now we have the student and this is the comparator uh, interface. I want to use this method to convert it as a lambda. So for that reason what I will do, I will first create the lambda expression for this particular method. You know how to do it, already I covered in Java 8 tutorial. Remove the prefix, remove the type, what it returns, return some number right comparator now you want to compare based on age so what I'll do I'll just define o1 dot get age minus o2 dot get age so this is what I can define now why this is crying because if you observe the method compare expect the return type as a int however this age field is of type double so nothing to do just typecast it all good 
you can also format this to the proper lambda expression by removing this return statement if after your curly braces if you have one statement then you can remove this return statement okay fine this is what your lambda expression for comparator now i will just use students dot stream dot sort i can pass the comparator dot to list collect it as a list now if i will print this list let's see sorted student list now if i will print this let's see whether it is following the sorting order or not age is 20 comes first then 22 then 23 you are getting the correct result now you might ask me hey my question is why comparable is not defined as a functional interface and you are started explaining the comparator right so there are there is no theoretical definition why it is not defined as a functional interface i can only prove this by considering this compare logic okay so we are good with the comparator now same thing i want to do using comparable because we understand right we want to sort based on the single field that is the natural sorting i can go for comparable now we are good with the comparator let's try the same thing using comparable now what is the interface uh, what is the method in comparable interface compare to copy this method we'll convert this method to the lambda expression you know how to do it remove the prefix everything remove the type what it expect to return int let's return one for now i'll just define it as a comparable now instead of return let's apply the actual sorting logic o dot get age with whom you want to sort now observe this code carefully in comparable we have only one argument and we are using it for sorting and you want to sort o dot get age with what this that is what comparable expecting compare to is supposed to compare this with the student age object but the lambda does not know what this is here it's just return the age if i'll do like this it will simply return the age i'll just typecast it to int again you can format the statement to proper lambda expression now observe this line carefully in comparator we have two object o1 and o2 so you are comparing o1.getAge o2.getAge to achieve your sorting algorithm but if you observe in comparable we have the single argument and in java comparable use this this means current object to compare with the parameter object but here lambda don't understand what is this keyword or what is your current object in this particular expression can you understand this so there is no actual comparison happening we are just returning the value which is nothing the age now if i'll just do i'll, I'll create a student object now if i'll pass comparable dot compare to method and if i'll give the student object s1 and what it will return to me int int result something like that if i'll print the result what i will get i'll get the output as a 22 does comparable apply the sorting here no because you cannot use comparable as a java lambda expression reason comparable always expect to compare with this which is nothing your current object and lambda don't understand what is this here okay so that is the reason you cannot define it as a lambda expression if you cannot define it as a lambda expression what does it mean to define it as a functional interface i cannot write the lambda expression for this comparable does it make any sense to define it as a functional interface i would say no because it will confuse to developer it will mislead the statement of lambda okay that is the reason java developers intentionally avoided 
marking it functional to prevent any misuse okay it break the lambda design intent if we will allow this comparable to functional interface now if i will not use comparable with the lambda expression then how can i use it let me do that so that you can also understand what do you mean by this when you are saying comparable meant to compare with this with the current object what does it mean so let's go with the actual comparable implementation what you can do in student class you can implement comparable of type student override it now in this compare to you have one object which is student so you can better name it other object other student okay now what comparable does it compare this is nothing your current student object with past student object the parameter student object something like this this dot get age minus other student dot get age again do the typecast hope now it is clear for you so what comparable does it always use this current object to compare with the parameter object but this particular keyword or this particular object you cannot access using this particular lambda expression lambda don't understand this object in expression okay so that is the only reason java developer strictly didn't mark it as a functional interface okay so you can simply explain to the interviewer saying that even though comparable has one abstract method it's not marked as a functional interface because it relies on object context which is this to work okay and lambda don't give access to this breaking the design intent i believe this statement is clear for you well so this is what all about the functional interface conflict in comparable and comparator like suvarna you can also start initiating asking more question so that i'll try to cover them uh, in my upcoming videos okay so this is the way we can cover more and more different different topic about interview question and its answer so well stay tuned and enjoy the content i'll see you in the next video